Have we lost all semblance of respect, decency, and honor for those who put their lives on the line every day? And where is this mentality coming from? A decorated Army uh, Ranger boards a U.S. Airway flight and asks the flight attendant if she might hang his uniform jacket full of medals in the aircraft closet. Now, she angrily refuses, saying the closet is for first-class passengers only, and he isn't one of them. To their credit, several first-class passengers who witnessed the treatment of Sergeant Albert Marley asked the attendant why she wouldn't simply hang his jacket up. Her response, according to them, our airline policy says I'm not going to do it, so I'm not going to do it. She kept uh, reiterating that it was against company policy. And if you look at the tweets afterwards, you find that it is actually not against company policy. She, um, she uh, was inclined to go to the captain. She told us she would go to the captain. And to be honest, I wish I had challenged her with that because the captain would have told her to hang the, the first sergeant's jacket and we wouldn't be having this conversation today. And when the first class passengers then offer Sergeant Marley their seat, the flight attendant starts yelling at them, speaking to Marley with, quote, an angry attitude as he quietly walks back to coach, declining the first class passengers offers. So U.S. Air's initial response, there was no space in the closet. But the first class passengers who were there say there was space. You know, those pesky eyewitnesses contradicting the airline's excuse. So now U.S. Air is investigating, saying we have a long and proud history of serving our military members and holding the men and women who serve our country in the highest regard. Really? Then how is it that your employee, Miss Not-So-Friendly Skies, won't even hang up a jacket in a closet that the passengers say was not full? Have we all lost our minds? Miss Not-So-Friendly Sky's job is to accommodate passengers. And you can't assist a decorated war veteran whose medals indicate that he probably continues to serve in a special unit who quietly and humbly walks back to coach. So let's talk. Do you think for one minute if a Hollywood celebrity had asked that same attendant to hang up his jacket, she would have refused? If George Clooney walks onto a plane that has a full closet, you can bet Miss How Can I Help You would remove coats to make room for his, and probably with a smile on her face while she does it. Surprised? Why? This is the tone that's set in Washington. There's no respect for the military in this country anymore. Veterans are dying left and right because they can't get an appointment to see a doctor at a veterans hospital. And to make it worse, the schedulers are lying so they can get a bonus. Every day, 22 veterans commit suicide. So why would you be surprised? The Veterans War Memorial in Washington, one of the first areas closed by the White House during the government shutdown. While the Occupy Wall Street gang is allowed to cost us millions as they make pigs of themselves in public parks and places. Now, our commander in chief reduces the size of armed forces by 90,000 members, some even getting pink slips upon their return from combat duty. He unilaterally then provides people who come here illegally, the so-called dreamers, with the opportunity to join the armed forces. Last I checked the federal law, it says it is a felony to possess a firearm as an illegal. And last I checked, this is the same president who's doing his darndest to take guns away from lawful gun owners like me. But we'll talk about that later in the show. Back to U.S. Air. So U.S. Air has not stated that it even has a so-called policy but if it does have such a policy, U.S. Air should lose the privilege of calling itself United States Air. And this country no longer respects the people who give us the right to say whatever we want, practice whatever religion we want, and enjoy the freedoms that we take for granted and hold so dear. 
So what should happen to Miss Not-So-Friendly Skies? The one who snubs an army ranger who she says is not first class. The one who yells at passengers who offer to give up their first class seat. Ma'am, I don't know what your name is, and I hope I never find out. Because not only do you have no class, you have no honor. And you know what? As U.S. Air investigates the role of this flight attendant, I have an idea. I'll be kind. She shouldn't lose her job. She should not lose her job. She should stay in the employ of U.S. Air. In maintenance, cleaning toilets, on all flights coming in from West Africa. Someone's got to do it.